In this video we'll talk about libraries. And the libraries are where we store our schematic symbols and another thing called footprints which is what your part physically looks like on your circuit board. So always remember I could have a resistor, a little tiny resistor this big, has the same symbol on my schematic, a little squiggly line, or I could have a gigantic resistor this big, still the same symbol, different footprint. So let's talk about the libraries. We came over here to components and we did miscellaneous connectors. I think we can come down here and look at miscellaneous devices. There's also an ECE library and I know it, uh, I told you to download the ECE library. Here's an ECE library. You'll see in the ECE library we have uh, parts that we use in Design 1 and Design 2. Here we have a joystick, inductors, here's the holes where we put on the corner of the boards. Uh, we used to use this at Mega, here's some transistors that we use. We have potentiometers, many, many different types and push buttons. Right, let's say I wanted to use this push button, I can double click it. There's a little push button. I'm going to delete it because we don't need it for this project. But anyway, that's, that's where the components in the libraries are. Now to install the library, after you've downloaded it, you might have to unzip it, you can come up here and tell it file-based library preference. So I'm going to come to my preferences. Now here's libraries that I have installed. All these libraries. If I want, I, I can come up here and uninstall them if I don't want them here anymore. Uh, or I can install new ones. See, there's remove. I can highlight something and tell it remove. Or I can tell it I want to install. So currently, I'm pointing at uh, a project we did in EL34 Class A. This is the audio amplifier. And here's the schematic library. You see SCHLIB. And here's the PCB library. <coughs> Excuse me. So I have both. I'm going to tell it to open those. And now if I come up here, I see I now have my schematic library for the EL34. And EL34 is an old vacuum tube. So I can click this. There it goes, an EL34 tube, a 12AX7 tube. I can double click this if I want. And there's the vacuum tube. Plate, grid, right, here's your heater down here. So that's that's how you install a library. Uh, I can delete that because we won't use the tube. Now at, at another point in another video I'll show you how to make a library. And I will also have a, a video on how to make parts. But at this point I just want you to know how to install a library. So here you are working on your project and you're like oh I want the ECE library. I downloaded it. I unzipped it. That doesn't mean it's installed in Altium. doesn't mean it's there available to use. You have to point to it through the system we just used. Components, the three little bars, file-based library preference, and install. And then you can go there and find your project or your, your library that you want to install and install it. Let's see what else is there. I don't know if I have a library in this one, but maybe schematic docs. No, no library for that one. But that's the way to install them. You just go to the location that you unzipped your uh, library to and you can install it. Now on another case you may want to come up here and say, geez I have a part. Let me search for it. So I come to library search and I tell it libraries on path so I can point to all my libraries and in this case, I have it pointing to my libraries. That's good. And then I can tell it equals, which means it will have to exactly match that, or I can tell it contains. And I can say 2N2907. Let's say I'm looking for this transistor. And I tell it to search. It's now going to go out on my hard drive and look in all those libraries from all those manufacturers and it's going to try to find that transistor. 
eventually it will. It'll come through because that, that's a very common transistor. So it'll find it in one of the libraries and it'll pop up here. And then I have an option. When I tell it to place that on my schematic, it'll ask me, do you want to install that library? And I can say, yes, I do. And it'll install it. Let's see, this, here we go. So here's a 2907. I can tell it stops the search. I can double click this guy. He says, it's not available. Do you want to install it? I can say yes. And I install it. And now I have the transistor available. So that's how to search the libraries. If you can't find it by searching all those libraries on that huge download, there's a Snap EDA. It's a web page. And you can uh, go to that web page and tell it that you want a, the name of the part. And if they have it, you can download it. There's several different softwares that make circuit boards. So you can tell it, I want it in Altium. And it'll download it in Altium for you. All right. That's that's probably it for learning how to install a library. It's not very hard, but it's very useful, and you'll find out that there's many times you'll want a part, a special part, and it won't be in there. Y you will also want to install the ECE library, so that's how you install the ECE library.